Uh, Mr. Bob Hope. We have all the in-laws here tonight. Yeah, how about this? All the affiliates, huh? Right. Isn't that great? Well, I'll beat it back to their town before they get there. <laughs> That's right. Somebody told me that uh, Dave Tempest got a private, uh, gonna fly you out of here immediately as soon as you leave tonight right to New York? I, was, I had to leave at 4 o'clock today to make this dinner tomorrow night in Washington, but Tebbit fixed up a plane for me, you know. Here I am, the Tebbit Command Performance. Yeah. For this thing. And when he asks you, you know, you got to you got to be there. Yeah. I turned him down one year, and the next three shows, my head came out plaid. <laughs> he took, I mean, he took, 22, 20, He's a classy 20. guy, though, isn't he? <laughs> huh? Yes. He's a classy, he doesn't, he doesn't phone you. An NBC page arrived with a 30-minute cassette of Tebbit at the Wailing Wall. <laughs> I have a feeling, you know, when I die, that Graveside is gonna come a color TV. <laughs> Saying good luck in the great beyond, Dave Tebbett. <laughs> there'll be a 25 inch color RCA and they'll put that right in the grave. Yeah, but he'll be there and it'll be St. Tebbett telling you which way to go. <laughs> I have a feeling about that. What do you work so much for? What are you, what are you doing? I just, I, I just, uh, I, this is nothing. I'm back in vaudeville. You That's know. right. And uh, I've got to be in vaudeville the way things are, the way the market is. I, uh, I'm just around, you know, picking yeah. up a few little things here and there. You're doing the commencement? Uh, for my well, you've done that before at colleges. You have. Uh, yeah, I've been a few of a number of honorary. How many I honorary have, degrees now have you got? I had one the other day for, from uh, uh, Salem College in West Virginia. You ever heard of that? Yeah, sure. It's the first mentholated student body I ever worked. For. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it was it was nice, and they gave me a new degree, John, uh, Doctor of International Relations, which I thought Kissinger should get. <laughs> I really do. Yeah because any man that will give up his honeymoon to ride a camel between Damascus and Tel Aviv. <laughs> I think he ought to get something, don't you? And I want to tell you, he really gets around. The other day, three planes landed in Paris, and he got off all of them. <laughs> One, two, three, four. <laughs> no, he's great. He yeah. traveled. He had so many miles on him, they had to, he had his feet rotated. <laughs> Should we wait or should we move on? <laughs> you get bugged when you fly. Now you're going back on a private plane. Uh, do people? Well, of course they do when you're on a when you're on a commercial plane. Well, you you you. Yeah. Uh, it, it's a pretty nice thing. I'd yeah. like to have my own plane. I really would. Well, why don't you get one? Well, I I'd like to have both wings. I uh, <laughs> no, it, it's it's a little rough to have a, yeah. a plane. You know, you to to handle it. And uh, Jack Nicholas is in pretty good shape. He had to give up his plane. Yeah. You know? And uh, you save a lot of wear and tear when you just, you know, the limousine drives out to the private plane. You miss that wear and tear at the runway where they, I mean, at the airport where they run up to you like, a woman ran up to me in Dallas the other day and said, are you live? <laughs> I said, no, I'm on tape. She said, oh. <laughs> it's true. You know that. You got a, a, a show coming up, or you're connected with this show, and I did something on it, and I'm not sure what I did. A show called The Bluffers. Yeah, it was uh, very strange. There were a lot of people in there a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, uh, an awful lot of people, and you're, you're one of them. And it was nice of you to help us do it. Yeah, David and Niven was in there. And, you got uh, a piece of film going on? We're going to. I think we're going to have to take a break. This comes out May the 28th, uh, following the Emmy Awards. So That's you'll be, right. You'll be a doubleheader that night. That's right, I am. And that, it's got uh, a lot of people on it, really a, a, a tremendous cast. And this, this particular piece they have on is, uh, is introduced by a guy called Michael Benteen. I know who he and is. And the Bluffers is really a, a thing about con men, you know? Guys that try to con their way in different businesses. You and I know a lot about that, Yes, don't we? yes, we've, uh, we've done our <laughs> share. And, uh, <laughs> and this, is, this is quite a thing, and uh, it shows uh, what a guy, an announcer, has to do to ad-lib when he's in a rough situation, like filling in for 30 minutes after when a golf run, a match runs short or a basketball game. It's one of so those things. We're gonna take a break before we show well, We're gonna take a break, he said, and then yes, we're gonna Yes, but first, we, bluffers, have, we right? have to pick up a little right. money for the NBC picnic. <laughs> <laughs> we'll uh, be back. We have a message from Sears, and we'll be back. We gotta stop importing those bands. That outfit's <laughs> not gonna make it. 
No, you know what they said? While that band was on, all these cats were shoehorning those Johnny Carson commercials in there, you <laughs> That's, know? This is the Getting room. those local things in, huh? What do you all got here? Stuff. This, is, this is the list uh, <coughs> Freddie just handed me. This yeah, is listen to some of these people on the bluffers. Ed Asner, Jack Benny, Michael Benteen, Ernie Borgnine, Johnny Carson, Angie Dickinson, Sandy Duncan, Glenn Ford, Jarja Gabor, Merv Griffin, Pat Arrington, Ed McMahon, Carl Reiner, Bobby Riggs, Karen Valentine, and Damon Wilson. And the Bluffers Repertory Company composed of Arlene uh, Galanka, Jennifer Darling, Barbara Rhodes, Chuck McCann, Bob Ridgely, and Ronnie Graham. That's a lineup. That's in one hour. And that follows the, um, the Emmy, Emmy show huh? Tuesday, May 28th on NBC. I love that. Are we, we going to show yeah. this? Uh, now, do we have to set this up again? This is a, a little spot in showing what, an announcer having to... Uh... An announcer filling in, you know, when, when uh, things go wrong here. So this is can't... Michael Benteen, a marvelous... Okay, marvelous Bobby, you want to roll it? Watch, watch the monitors in the studio. Here we are. Hello, I'm speaking to you from London, actually outside the National National Gallery, where very soon we shall be entering to see the wonderful Impressionist School of Painting, which has been sent over from France. This, uh, this exhibition is perhaps the greatest exhibition that France has ever sent us. It, of course, originated in the Louvre in Paris. Known to every Frenchman and art lover throughout the world as the Paris Louvre. <laughs> They're wonderful painters. Uh, uh, painters like Toulouse Lautrec, to name but a few. Uh, Manet, Monet, Rene, uh, Renoir, uh, Gauguin, and of course the immortal Van Gogh. And each of them <laughs> has uh, produced a masterpiece. For the first time, this agglomeration of paintings is now in London. <laughs> One of the most exciting exhibitions that I think. London has ever seen. I, uh, I am myself count myself very fortunate to to uh, to be the commentator on, on this wonderful exhibition, <coughs> the, because the security, uh, as you can see, has been extremely extremely um, strict. <laughs> the, the the beautiful carved door that uh, that I was uh, striking on is in fact uh, the work of the great London door carver uh, Grinlin uh, Grinlin Gifford who carved so many of London's doors and, 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 and to whom we owe such an enormous door debt. <laughs> um, the, uh, the marble steps that, that I'm standing on are, are not by Grindin, Grindin Gibbons, but, uh, but uh, possibly by some Italian uh, step carver uh, working for the London Step Carving Company and, 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 and the railings, of course, <laughs> which we see quite clearly on either side of me. Um, are the, probably the work of the London Railing Company as well. Uh, oh, th now this window, uh, which is possibly the work of the London Window Company, is, um, uh, is locked. Uh, <laughs> doubtless with one of those fine locks that the London Lock Company has been exporting for many years all over the world. Uh, but uh, very soon, I think we might be able... To... Oh. <laughs> yes, this, uh, uh, this brick which is um, probably the work of the London Brick Company, will... <laughs> Evening, officer. <laughs> now, I, I'm just doing a program for NBC. Yank TV, you know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Have a nice night. <laughs> yes, <laughs> well done. My love to the commissioner. <laughs> Very soon now, we'll be inside the gallery to see the magnificent work ah! of the... the, the, the uh, uh, French impression school, Ooh, which has <laughs> God, which has uh, now this must be the the side side gallery, and I, by the smell of turpentine and acetone, it's probably used for restoration. It's a little dark in here, but I've got a match somewhere here. If I, if I can, ah uh, ah, uh, yes now ah uh, yes now it's uh, it's not quite so dark, and I can. I can clearly see that the gallery is filled with masterpieces which are in need of cleaning. Rembrandt, Rubens, go! Oh! Oh. And other magnificent painters who have enriched our lives so much during, during the big fourth. See where you get the idea.
So the idea of bluffers is based on situations you find yourself and how to get out of them. Yeah. Or con your yeah, way in or out. I read that whole cast to you, didn't I? Yeah. Something, and I didn't read David Niven, who is the host. He's the host. He's the whole thing. That gentleman is Michael Benteen from London. He's yeah. an actor over there, very successful, very amusing guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're going to head to New York now, huh? I'm going to New York uh, and do this show, and then I'm coming back to St. Louis on Saturday at the Ambassador Theater. I missed that one. You're doing something big, in St. Louis? Big benefit. You forgot that? Forgot St. Louis. Do you want me to walk on again? <laughs> That's incredible. No, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's great seeing you, and I just want, did want to come on with these uh, wonderful affiliates because uh, I've been working for them for a long, long time, you know. I've been with NBC, I guess the... Uh, Dog with the Victrola is the only thing that's been around longer than I have. Yeah. <laughs> well, there are bread and butter in the affiliates. <laughs> yeah, you're not kidding. That's hey, thanks for coming. Guys. Thank Literally. you. And I know you have a wonderful show because I saw Rickles outside walking his cobra. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd like to get out before surgery. <laughs> Thank you, Bob.